Good morning, I'm Matt Herbert, and today I'm gonna to be taking you through how to approach weedy venues so you can catch amazing fish like this. As you can see, we're at a really weedy venue today, and the purpose of today's session is to show you how you can enhance your sessions when fishing weedy waters. So before this session has started, I've, I've raked the area that I'm fishing, so I've walked around the venue a number of times, and I've chose certain areas within the weed that I've used the rake. The purpose of the rake, that will clear any debris that's on the bottom, and it'll also aid in clearing that area, so I can make sure that my rigs are presented correctly. And then on top of that, I've spent the last week or so, every other day, pre-baiting these spots, so the fish are used to coming in these areas. So hopefully this will show today how a little bit of extra work will put more fish on the bank. I'm going to take you through now is the bait that I've been using to pre-bait this venue. So I start off by crushing the king prawn. This is done weeks and weeks in advance. This allows the bait to really dry out. So when I actually come to adding the liquid, the, the liquid is really absorbed. And then from there, I'll add all the other baits as well. So I like to use hemp, which is nice and light. And I also like using the maize. With these all combined together, they flutter through the water rather than Obviously, if they were heavy baits, full baits, they potentially would get lost in the silt. So once the actual bait is ready, I'll have a large amount of it made up, and every sort of two or three days, I'll come over here and I'll bait up the raked areas that I've, been, um, that I've prepped previously. Here we have the finished bait. Okay, the bait is all nice and small particles. These will flutter through the water, and as they're going through the water column, it will give off lots and lots of attraction for any passing fish and when they're on the bottom, they're gonna lay on top of any weed or debris that might still be there. When it comes to applying the bait, I like to use a baiting pole or a scoop. These allow me to bait up areas with as little disturbance as possible because these fish are wary um, and they can spook quite easily. When it comes to the actual method of fishing, I generally choose solid bags. These can be put in the bait spoon, pushed out into really tight areas and allow me to fish over pretty much any type of bottom. Here we have another angry little common caught in a hole in the weed over a baited and raked spot using solid bags. I'm gonna take you through now how I make my solid bag mix. Okay, what we're gonna go through now is the bag mix that I use. And I use the micro pellet bag mix from Crafty Catcher. Within the bucket, you get three kilos of different size pellets, which are absolutely perfect for solid bag fishing. And then to supplement that, I like to use the bait dust. But before the bait dust is added, I like to add a liquid to this. Liquid doesn't really matter, it's all personal preference, but I like using the feeding cloud or hemp liquid. And I'll add it to the dust rather than to the pellet. I don't want the pellet to be absolutely saturated in liquid because that will affect their breakdown time, etc. So what I do is I add it to the um, dust itself and then over time, once it's dried out, I'll put it in a warm place, I'll add, I'll add a kilo of this to three kilo of pellet. And what that allows me to do is make really compact solid bags. When it comes to actually filling the solid bag itself, I like to fill the bottom of the uh, bag with the bait dust first. What this does is it protects the hook point. Okay, and then after that, I'll keep adding the pellet until the actual uh, lead 
is covered and then I'll just tie the lead off or tie the bag off and I'm good to go. Something that I've always done or I've, I've done over a, a long period of time is I like to add liquid directly to the bag so it's not going to affect the pellet but you're getting the maximum amount of traction straight into the area. So all I simply do is use the hook bait enhancer with the king prawn and I put it directly into the bag. I'll squirt the liquid in there until it starts to come out and then once that liquid's in there it's not just great for heavily uh, weedy waters where the, generally the bottom's really silty, it's great for um, commercial waters. That extra little bit of attractant will definitely get you a lot more bites. Right, here are my top tips for fishing weedy waters. First thing which I think is really, really important is where you want to put your rigs. Make sure these areas are clear from all weed, debris, like this venue here. It's not kept, no one's looking after it. So you want to make sure that your rigs are presentable. That's why I'd use solid bags in this situation. They ensure that the hook point is protected because it doesn't matter how much weed uh, raking you do, potentially there's still going to be uh, stuff on the bottom of the lake. Once you put your solid bags in, again, bait application is really important. I choose to use a uh, bait in spoon. This allows me to put my rigs exactly where I want them with a small amount of bait around them, ensuring that I'm fishing effectively. So when fishing weedy waters, it's really important that you fish locked up. You do not want those fish taking you into the pads or into the uh, heads of weed. So it's imperative you fish locked up, you're on your rods, and as you can see, I'm only fishing the one rod, because putting more than one rod in such a small area would be detrimental to your fishing. Another angry little common. Just caught using the baiting pole, dropping a um, solid bag in the hole in the weed that's been pre-baited for the last two or three days. The rewards are there, the efforts there. <laughs> 